Are you looking for doing a project in the IoT or in the controlling the robot or working with the Wi-Fi module or GSM module? If you want to do this type of project, you need to have the microcontroller. I'm going to introduce the Arduino boards. Arduino boards, there are different types of it, different features of it based on your project. If you want to walk through the uh, programming board, you can follow me to the slides and lab and I will explain about the hardware of the Arduino board. So now let's see what are the differences between Arduino boards so now you can understand which one works for your project. So Arduino board is an open source programming. It means you can find all the codes and all the examples online and also you can download the software Arduino IDE from the website and the website actually is a good reference where when you want to know about the meaning of the codes and you want to get to know more about the coding language is based on C programming uh, you can connect sensors and actuators to this board and you can activate the sensors and you know uh, activate the actuators based on your need it is really good for the students teacher professional or hobbies to use in their program so now we have the Arduino Uno. So the Arduino Uno actually has three parts. We have the power, analog, and digital. So we will start with the power. In the power, we have reset pin. So this reset pin, actually, when you want to reset your program, you are using this pin. Um, we have also separate button for it. I will refer it in the later. And uh, also we have 3.3 volts and 5 volts, which you can connect your sensors to. So it's based on the data sheet of your sensors. Also, we have two ground over here. You can connect the ground to this pin. And also we have V-in. The V-in is used when you have the higher voltage. For example, your driver is working for uh, 12 volts. So you need to convert it to 5 volts because the Arduino board actually works with 5 volts. So there is an IC regulator here. So it will convert the 12 volts to uh, 5 volts for you. Next, we have the analog one. So the analog pins actually are pin A0 to A5. So these are the pins which we can read from the sensor. For example, we have the potentiometer. You are connecting to here and you will read the number from it. It reads the float number for you, not the integer one. In the opposite of the digital one, so you just read the float number here. You don't have either one or zero. So next we have the digital one. So the digital pins are pinned from zero to 13. They're reading either zero or five, zero or one for you. For example, when you want to turn on or turn off light, you will either send zero or five to that, to that light. We have PWM also. The PWM are pin 3, 5, 6, 9, 10, and 11. And you can go uh, and see the video we will have also in this series. This pin actually is pulsed with modulation. For example, when you want to control the speed of the motors, you use these pins. Or when you want to control the beam of light, you can actually use these uh, pins also. So we have also TXRX here. So these are the serial ports and uh, we call it UART. And also we have ground one ground pin here. The reset pin uh, that we have talked about before, we have the button over here when you want to rerun the program. So uh, you hold it for three seconds and after that, the program will start over. Then we have the USB 
uh, USB port. So this USB port is connected with the uh, USB cable, printer cable to the computer. Actually, you can give the power to this board at the same time and run your uh, project and also upload uh, the program to uh, this board. Next, we have the uh, place where, where we can connect the adapter to it. For example, your project needs the adapter to run. You have made a car. You need to connect the uh, adapter to it. So you are using this pin. And then we have the crystal. So the crystal is 16 megahertz. So this is the um, clock of the Arduino board. You can increase or decrease, but the default one is 16 megahertz. Next, we have the TX RX LED. So when you are using the UART, you are using your serial ports, the TX and RX uh, LED will blink. Next, we have LED, uh, which is LED 13, which is connected to the pin 13. So, in some project, you need to control whether your uh, program is running or going to the next line or uh, many other things. So, you can use this LED just blinking for you, just you know that uh, the, the program is running on the Arduino board. Next, this is the uh, Atmega 328IC. So this IC is uh, actually which you are programming. So you will see there are many pins over here. So these pins actually connected to these pins, but the order are not same. Next, uh, this is the IC regulator as we have talked about. So when you have the higher voltage and you want to connect, you want to uh, convert it to 5 volts because this Arduino board is working with the 5 volts. So because of that, this uh, board has an IC regulator. Then we have the fuse. The fuse is actually protecting your board from high current. Now in this slide we will see some other pins so you may have a question so what is this pin actually? So this pin is connected to your IC and it is used for example when you want to program your IC externally. You, you use these pins and the other pin uh, are located here. These pins also when you want to externally uh, connecting uh, your uh, USB to the serial port of microcontrollers, you are using these pins also. The Arduino board is really important because you can use it with the ARM and also the FPGA. So it's really important to know how does it work and how to program uh, with the Arduino Uno. So as you see in this um, ARM board, so you have also pins for connecting the uh, Arduino Uno. Same here for the FPGA. Next, we have the Arduino Nano. So the Arduino Nano is exactly the same as the Arduino Uno, but actually, so maybe you are tiny in your uh, space, you need a smaller one, or maybe you want to connect it directly to, uh, to your breadboard, so, are you, so you are using um, this Arduino board. And one of the differences is that for program, this board, you actually need the mini USB port to connect it to your computer. Next, we have the Arduino Mega. So the Arduino Mega, we have many pins here. For example, we have f about 50 digital pins. You have many TICs and RX pins. Also, you have many SCA and SCL uh, pins. So when your project is really big and you have many sensors and actuators, you need to use this Arduino Mega. 
Next, we have the Arduino Pro Micro. The Pro Micro one, actually, you don't have too many pins for it is used for smaller projects and also here for program this uh, Arduino you are using a micro USB cable next we have our Arduino Pro Mini so the Pro Mini one uh, actually the IC is the same as the IC, uh, Arduino Nano or Arduino Uno but for program this tiny board actually you need the USB TTL one so for example for this first one you are connecting the TXRX to the TXRX of this board and then you can use the mini USB cable to connect it uh, to computer for the program then also you have another option so again this one is uh, using TX and RX but actually you can directly connect it to your computer for programming and run your project next we have the Arduino Leonardo Arduino Leonardo is same as the previous one but actually uh, this one has a built-in uh, mouse and keyboard and which you can use it and also it is work really well with the 9 volt battery. Then we have the Arduino Gemma and Lilypad. So these are on circle one. Maybe uh, you have a project which you need to uh, put it on your uh, wrist. So you are using the circle one, the Gemma one and you have less pin to connect your sensors and actuators but it's really good for small projects as you see over here so for connected to the uh, computer you can actually use the mini usb port cable now let's go to the lab to see the arduino board the different type of arduino board which we have so you can see the pins and you can see how does it look when you work with it so now this is the exciting part, we are going to know about the hardware of the Arduino. So this is the Arduino Uno board and this is the USB printer cable which is connected to the Arduino board and this, this one is the part which is connected to the computer and now here we have the power part we have also the analog part over here we have the digital pins over here and we have the reset over here and we have crystal this is the adapter one and this is the ICSP which is connected to the Atmega 328 for external programming. Let's see another one. So this is the Arduino Mega. As you see, too many ports, which you can connect your sensors over here. And as you see, this USB port is used to connect to the computer is using the same cable as the Arduino Uno. The next one is Arduino Nano. As you see, small and also you can connect it directly through this pin header to, to your breadboard. This is the uh, micro USB car, uh, cable which you can connect it to the computer. This is the FTDI which we use to connect the Arduino Pro Mini to our computer. And you can find the pins which you, which you, which you need to connect it to your board uh, in internet. And also this is the USB Mini uh, to use to connect it to the computer. And as you see in the back side, you will see the name of it is FCDI232. So this is the programmer which we use for 
uh, three for uh, Arduino Pro Mini and, and it is work with 3.3 volts. Let's see what are the differences between these three these three boards. So this is the Arduino Uno is the educational part and it for the price is uh, cheaper and better for students as and is more affordable. And this one is used for projects, so you need to uh, be really careful when you are working with it. And the IC of this one is same as the IC of the Arduino Uno. But for this one, the Arduino Mega is for really big projects. When you have too many sensors, you need too many input outputs over there. And the chipset, uh, of the Arduino Mega is stronger than others and also this one is using the um, USB cable the printer one and this is the mini USB to connect it to the computer programming language for all of them are same and in this series we are going to have a really cool project for you to just work with them and to know about each of them and how to program it and how to use it on your project. I hope you have learned about the Arduino boards from this video and about the structure and features of it. We will talk about the software and programming of this board in next videos. If you have any question about the hardware or about the programming software of these boards, please leave us a comment and we will reply you as soon as possible. Thank you.